Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Ewing and Heightstown is brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. Coach Shelley Dearden and Ewing out to a hot start this basketball season. The 9-0 Blue Devils squaring up with 6-4 Heightstown. What a first quarter for Kenny Rankin of Ewing. 10 points for him to kick off the game as the Blue Devils in front 2011 after one. Robert Eves hitting a 3-4 Heightstown early in the second. Keenan Reese with a contested pull-up jumper knocks it down to make it 24-18 two minutes in. Rams get the lead down to two late in the quarter. Final seconds, Darnell Forrest from three. It's good. Forrest with a buzzer beater to cap off the first half. Ewing in front, 37-30 at the break. The second half, a much different story for Ewing as Heightstown capitalizing on misses cuts it to 44-43 in the closing minute on a bucket from Yasin El Hosseini. That's your score entering the fourth. Robert Eves giving Heightstown their first lead of the night to begin the final quarter, but there would be several lead changes in the fourth. On a loose ball, peep the Euro step and left-handed finish from Keenan Reese to make it 47-46 Rams. And talk about the effort from both of these teams. Darnell Forrest fighting for a loose ball somehow gets it to Grady Griffin, and Griffin with the finish puts Ewing ahead by one with 242 left. Fast forward, we're all tied up at 56 with one second left in regulation. Blue Devils with the ball trying to draw up the game-winning play. They get it to Nair Preston. Preston loses the ball briefly but gets the shot off and it hits off rim. We stay tied at 56-56 and this one going to overtime. A costly technical foul would put Heightstown down by six in overtime. Keenan Reese with back-to-back -back plays brings the Rams within two. Closing minute, they trail 64-62. Reese draws a foul and visiting fans not happy. He knocks down both to tie it at 64. Ensuing possession following a miss on a contested basket for Ewing, Robert Eves gets it to Keenan Reese. Reese weaving his way through traffic, almost loses the ball and comes close to traveling, but gets a good look and that doesn't fall. We go to double overtime tied at 64-64. Final minute of double overtime, Yasin Al Husseini knocks down a pair of free throws to put Heightstown ahead 72-69 with just under 22 seconds remaining. Ewing gets the ball to Nair Preston. His shot no good, but they get the rebound and feed it to Darnell Forrest. Forrest for the tie in double OT from three buckets. Darnell Forrest with a huge three ties the game at 72. Keenan Reese takes the ball up court, but his shot doesn't fall. And triple overtime on the menu tonight in Heightstown. Ewing buckling down in triple OT. Kenny Rankin with a huge jumper puts the Blue Devils ahead by one with a minute left. Ewing forcing a turnover on Heightstown's next possession, and Rankin coming up with the ball will force the Rams to eventually foul. Nair Preston and Darnell Forrest knocking down free throws puts the Blue Devils up 81-77 with under 12 seconds left. Heightstown gives it to Keenan Reese, but the shot hits off rim, and there will not be a fourth overtime. 81-77 your final, Ewing improving to 10-0. The Blue Devils remaining undefeated come out on top in one of the best games so far this year. That three from Darnell Forrest in double overtime keeping their hopes alive. He finished with 12, Nair Preston had 18, and Kenny Rankin led all scorers with 30. Ewing takes on Lawrence next. Heightstown losing their fourth in a row drops to six and five. Robert Eves had 22 for the Rams, while Keenan Reese finished with 26. Both programs giving us a great night of basketball they'll both remember. Heightstown will look to bounce back versus West Windsor, Plainsboro North. Coach Shelley Dearden, how does it feel to get this win? I mean, it was very tough. Heightstown was very prepared for us, and they did a very nice job. They pushed us to our limits. Again, I think our offseason, our preparation during practice, we go over situations, we go over scenarios. Um, and uh, because we do that in practice, it, it's a little bit easier for us in the game to handle the situation. For Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Neri Rodriguez.